from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. How a local man is making an impact in Kenya through art in Henrico, and the Henrico School Board approves a new AP African American Studies course, among others. We'll tell you about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Friday, December 22nd, 2023. It's brought to you today by Revel Market and Bar. And now for the news. When Will Green and his wife took a trip to Nairobi, Kenya in December of 2017, they visited the Children's Hope Home during their time there. It was a vacation for them, but it fell on his late mother's birthday just a few days before Christmas, and she had a tradition of spending her birthday giving out food to those in need. Green wanted to honor her legacy and continue it. Little did he know that that trip would turn into a passion of his own and a new business back home in Henrico. In an attempt to raise more money to support the orphanage, Green in May of 2018 developed a new business model and formed Paint Our Future, through which he now sells the work of Kenyan artists here in the Richmond area. He now has 12 artists that he works with. Today on HenricoCitizen.com, we bring you Green's story. It's one that you won't want to miss, especially this time of year. I hope that you'll check it out and learn more about what he's doing. Earlier this month, the Henrico School Board approved several new courses for the coming school year, including the new Advanced Placement African American Studies course. The Virginia Department of Education approved the course in September to be taught at Virginia high schools after concluding that it did not violate Governor Glenn Youngkin's executive order banning, quote, the use of divisive concepts, including critical race theory, end quote. The course gained national attention earlier this year when Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said he would ban it from being taught in Florida schools. The course will be offered at all Henrico High Schools starting next school year. If not enough students sign up for the course at their school, accommodations can be made for them to take the course virtually or at another school. The school board also approved a number of other new courses, most for high school students, including Teacher Apprenticeship 1 and 2, Firefighting 1 and 2, Unmanned Aircraft Systems, and American Sign Language 2. Our education reporter, Leanna Hardy, has a complete look at the new courses right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. The Virginia Board of Education is asking the General Assembly to develop a plan for changing the state's existing school funding formula to help divisions that are strapped for money, although it's not backing a proposal that would remove a cap that limits the number of support positions the state will fund. An earlier report by the Joint Legislative Audit and Review Commission, or JLARC, which conducts analysis and provides oversight of state agencies on behalf of the Assembly, found that changing the formula could help address the underfunding of schools. The Board of Education also urged the General Assembly to provide flexible funding for innovative approaches to literacy and math education and to require high school students to have an opportunity to make their own academic and career plans, as well as provide funding for a statewide individualized education program system. And we've got much more on this topic right now on our website from our partners at Virginia Mercury. And if you've been by the Libby Mill development in Henrico's near West End recently, you know that there's a lot happening as new residential units are taking shape. And today on HenricoCitizen.com, we take a look back at the progression of the community since it was approved nearly two decades ago. We'll walk you through the timeline of what's happened and what's coming next. And in just a little more than a week, many of us will be making New Year's resolutions. If one of them for you includes how to work gardening into your new year, you'll want to check out this week's edition of In the Garden on HenricoCitizen.com. It gives you some tips for some easy ways to do that. And if you're planning to visit a local restaurant here in the next week or two, also be sure to check out our restaurant watch. Every week we bring you a list of the most recent restaurant inspections as conducted by Virginia Department of Health officials. You will want to take a look before you decide where to go. And the Henrico News Minute will be taking a break next week, as I hope many of you will as well. But you can still follow along on HenricoCitizen.com. We'll be sure to bring you 
the latest news from the county that you need to know even during the holiday season. Hope that you all have a great holiday, whatever you celebrate, and I look forward to talking with you in the new year. Looking for the perfect place to celebrate the holidays, relax with an exceptionally crafted drink, or enjoy unique signature dishes? Visit Revel Market and Bar in Lakeside. Revel Market and Bar has a great happy hour menu and is the home of creative and delicious shareable dishes, so bring your friends for the perfect evening out. Learn more at revelrva.net, call 804-280-9280, or visit Revel at 6223 Lakeside Avenue.